Greetings, Starshine Virgin Gang. The Earth says hello. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Today on the Opossum One of Ones, the square art. I don't know. I'm going to have to get some custom frames for it or something. I have explored that. I don't really know what I'm going to actually do. Probably, I just have it loose right this second. Maybe I'll find something to... I, I don't know. I'll figure something out. Anyway, today we got Shup It. Shup It! I like Shup It a good little bit. Good old hoeing. Good old Ruby Sapphire Emerald. A little puppet homie eventually evolves into a doll. Shup It really was not too difficult to draw actually fairly easy to draw it has a lot of the same characteristics as ditto just as a nice little head horn on the head i like shup it there you go nice little easy draw uh it's a slow news week i don't know what to tell you something tells me next week i just have an inkling in my head just stay tuned for that i think next week's going to be a lot more interesting but this week we don't got a whole lot going on i don't know i'm gonna laugh at some goofy shit that i saw online you don't want to look at that you're free to go watch someone else everyone else hasn't been posting either it's been just that slow of a week when it comes to actual news topics people have been posting up you know it's, it's twilight masquerade still where are you gonna go you're stuck with me unfortunately however in my perusing of the instagram i did find something that i thought was mildly humorous considering what it was talking about i mean when it comes to the pokemon hobby and in the sports hobby any hobby really when it comes to actual getting retail product stores there's going to be people that want to buy that stuff up for the low low price of retail and if it's selling for more on the second hand market there's going to be people that want to fucking flip that resell it do whatever they can do whatnot breaks do the drip breaks hey do whatever the hell they can to make a little bit of cash am i right but i saw something that was kind of funny this is by target let me uh let me pull this up for you real quick this legitimately had me rolling for a little bit because i don't really understand what the fucking point of this actual sign is maybe someone else can uh help fill it in a little bit but uh i got this from lameem james thank you so much i'm gonna actually post where i got this from check them out they post a lot of uh different hobby related memes i follow them uh they they found this i don't know when this is from i don't know if this is new i don't know if this is old i don't know what the fuck i went to my target to look to see if they had this up it was not there so your guess is as good as mine maybe it's a little time capsule posted up Target reserves the right to prohibit purchases of any merchandise to resellers. Resellers are defined as a company <laughs> or an individual that purchases goods with the intention of selling them rather than using them. This includes individuals that exhibit behaviors such as pack searching and weighing. There's a lot to untake when it comes to that entire paragraph right there. So sure, you're your own company. You can throw anybody out that you want to. That's your right as a business. I completely understand that. Uh, we we will just, just say no to resellers resellers whatsoever not scalpers we're just gonna say resellers as a whole now look I, I don't like resellers really that much that overcharge for product. They want to fucking charge an extra five bucks or something like that. Doesn't really bother me too, too bad. As long as you're not buying up everything in the fucking store, it's very difficult for them to accomplish that in the Scarlet and Violet era. I'm unfamiliar with how that goes with sports cards. Maybe y'all are having a fucking euphoria of product flowing down. People pull a rope and product just comes down from the sky. Scarlet and Violet product is everywhere. No one's having a hard time getting that. 151 stuff is everywhere where I am. I'm still able to grab 151 where I please. They they lay out a nice little uh, <laughs> nice little definition, just in case someone's incapable of uh, deciphering what the complex word of reseller means. Uh, defines the company or an individual that purchases goods with the intention of selling them rather than using them. So, there you go. So, if you plan on selling any of those cards, and there, what's, I don't really know where that line is going to be drawn. Say someone pulls a duplicate and they want to sell that card to like get some other cards for a deck. Or they want to sell that card to like purchase a different card from the set because they're trying to get a master set. I don't know where that line is going to be drawn on target i'm sure that's up to you the the second line here is a little bit more goofy this includes individuals that exhibit behavior such as searching and weighing i don't think anybody really likes people that search or weigh modern packs at all i don't think like even resellers think that shit's kind of greasy for the most part even they're like eh, yeah, just buy your box and offload it man you don't really need to do all that you're not really trying to do that much stuff once again sport card market might just be a little bit more different the sports balls might weigh a little bit more than the pokeballs i'm not too sure so if anybody saw that we'd all just be clowning and laughing i'm just for me i'm like what what does this sign actually do okay so say you walk in you see old boy he's got a little bit of this product right here and he's just he's He's just rubbing his hands together. He's like, hey. <laughs> he gets this product and just is doing that. And then he's like, hey, hey, little Jimmy. An employee comes up. Are, are you planning to, to use that as opposed to sell it? And he's like, 
Uh, yeah, I'm planning to resell this. Why, big man? Are, are you just going to stop them as an employee? Is the employee going to do this? Is that part of the employee's training to just kick out people who buy some product and they're going to flip said product? Look, once again, I don't like it just as much as everybody else, but the sign itself, I don't think it's going to deter anybody. At the very least, all these motherfuckers are going to do is they're going to walk in, grab a bunch of product, throw it on their fucking shelf, and then if someone walks up and fucking the, the bouncer of Target comes up, they're literally just going to be like hey you sell that stuff and the dude's gonna be like no oh okay as you were citizen carry on may you get the best of sports cards and may your pokeballs be heavy as shit like what what's what's gonna happen what's what's the point of this sign what are you really gonna do as an employee to actually stop that stuff are you gonna be like no 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 you can't buy that box because i i suspect you of being a reseller maybe they'll pull up home dude's page on whatnot or something like that i imagine if someone comes in there very frequently and they're buying up a lot of stuff very frequently like they're loading up their cart and they'll do that like five six times a week to the point where the employees know who they are i imagine that's a different case you see some little fool fucking taking out a little drug scale and weighing all their packs out in the aisle dude even normal hobby goers would look at that and be like bro what the fuck are you doing like it's go somewhere else with that we would take care of that for you okay an employee would not even need to step in that point. Everybody would step in. Everyone disliked that, okay? That's just one of those things right there. I'm just very curious what this sign's going to do to stop anything. It just it blows my mind that that's what they did. Like, putting up, like, limits of how much product would be up, like, I get that 100%. Target was limiting that, but a sign that's just like, yeah, motherfucker, you better not identify as a reseller. Oh, I don't identify as a reseller. I identify as a card opener. Oh, well, okay. And then they walk out of the fucking store and they identify as a fucking reseller once again i mean what's what's stopping people from doing that it's, it's really goofy a whole fucking load of a sign right there told you really really funny goofy thing i saw sorry for the slow news week once again i have a feeling next week's gonna be real crazy like we'll we'll see that's all i got appreciate it virgins i appreciate everybody checking out the tier list appreciate everybody checking out my additional content and of course rock sandy once again with the card prison if you made it this far once again opossum 10 will get you 10 percent off if you don't want to use my code all the other members of card party and even cool trainer ryan i think i saw that he had a code as well go check them out they're all supporting rock the goat go support the homie i appreciate it have a great one virgin see you later Ooh, target's gonna stop him hmm wonder who they're hiring. I wonder if they could hire me as a bouncer. I'm pretty fucking tough. I could take some fucking resellers. I could wipe their neck beards off their face.